quite a load of marijuana. That knife will come back on you, watch it. full of marijuana. Good, good, good. Okay, go ahead and do your notification. Couldn't get a hold of the captain. I got a load of marijuana in a minivan in the tire. You want me to notify the task force or what? The packages. That's like a good little bit. We're just cutting the tire open right now. Yeah, go ahead and place them on the wrist. Can you get it out now? Okay, let me roll the tire up a little bit. Yeah, roll it up some. I told you that sucker was heavy, didn't I? Yeah. conducted a uh, brief search of the truck from the outside and I noticed that the tires on the truck were very large larger uh, than what you'd normally see on the this style of a truck uh, after noticing that I also noticed on the front tire areas uh, fresh scra scratches and heavy damage to the inside rim of the wheel and on the front tires there were these extra weights on the tires uh, Deputy Shelton uh, showed me these strings which were hanging from the tires. We showed this to Deputy Dodson as well. Uh, once we noticed these strings that were uh, inside, in between the wheel itself and the rubber, we tried to pull on the strings and the strings would not come out of uh, this little crack area. So we knew that they were freshly put there and that they uh, were stuck in between the two. Uh, at that point, uh, Deputy Dodson walked K-9 Norton around the vehicle. K-9 Norton stopped at each wheel and alerted on the wheel and tire areas. Uh, what kind of alert did you get from him? Uh, yeah, I got a scratch and when he, uh, he got the drug older, he scratched each wheel off of him. Uh, I watched Deputy Dodson once again walk K-9 Norton around and the K-9 did the same thing to the wheel areas. And uh, this was even before we let the air out that the dog was doing this. I thought that was very unique. Um, at this point, uh, what we had done was later notice that these, these strings belong to the packages, and we'll show that later. But this is why we believe that the canine was showing such a strong alert on these tires. At this point, I advised the uh, driver of the vehicle 
that he needed to follow us due to the canines alert to the next exit. Um, we, we escorted uh, Deputy Dotson and myself and uh, Deputy Shelton escorted uh, the driver and the lady and children to the next exit where I took a valve stem remover and removed the valve stem and I let the air out of the tire. When I let the air out of the tire, the air uh, was entirely out, but yet the wheel did not rest onto the, to the ground. There was about this much room uh, uh, not allowing the wheel itself to rest onto the concrete that the truck was sitting on. So at this point, we took the, uh, uh, a towel, and uh, was it a towel or a shirt? shirt it was a shirt, a t-shirt, and uh, put it over the, the lip of this uh, valve here. We took and hide, hid the t-shirt in a second canine. Uh, Kyle. Canine Kyle. Uh, alerted on that as well. So we had two different dog alerts, which led us to believe that there was, in fact, narcotics inside these tires, these running tires. So at this point, what we did was we took the tire uh, and wheel off the vehicle from this side over here. This is the spare tire that we replaced, but this area here, the left rear wheel area, is the first tire that we removed. Once we removed the wheel and the tire, um, we were pushing around on the wheel and tire. We could feel a solid object. Uh, in the center area of the wheel. Uh, upon doing this, and along with the dog's alert and everything, I took my knife and uh, I took my knife out and punched the tire and started cutting the tire open. Once I cut the tire open, we located this solid steel brace here mounted around the wheel. Uh, Deputy Dodson and myself discussed the fact that the bolts or the nuts, I'm sorry, the nuts here and the, the bolts were all spot welded. So you couldn't even take your nuts or your bolts loose from this, uh, this. Before bending this open, this was in a circular pattern as well. This was mounted around this wheel, okay? We were able to puncture a hole into the steel brace. And once we did this, uh, we took a spike, like an ice pick, and, and poked inside the packages and came out with what we suspect to be um, methamphetamine. Now at this point, by putting the packages together, what we have here after just removing, removing a few of the packages, we have what we believe to be approximately one kilo of methamphetamine. Um, after removing these, we noticed we still had two more packages in here, two more packages in here being also a second kilo. So we believe there is, there is a total of four kilos located in this steel brace um, and possibly uh, four more kilos in each wheel and tire. If this is the case, there should be approximately 16 more kilos if all tires and wheels are loaded. At this point, we're going to break down the additional wheels and tires and see if there's in fact narcotics in these wheels and tires.
Okay, we now we we got everything out of the tire. We finally got everything cut open, and uh, what we got is 63 blocks. They're gonna be approximately one pound blocks. Uh, 1.2 pounds, uh, roughly 30 kilos of methamphetamine. Stop this vehicle here on I-75 for a traffic infraction. Uh, after stopping the vehicle, uh, certain suspicions arose during the stop. The two occupants had different stories of their destination and origin of traveling on. Uh, basically, uh, the vehicle belonged to a third party. <laughs> Certain suspicions arose and uh, later uh, wrote the subject a citation, a warning citation for the infraction. I then asked and received consent to search the vehicle for narcotics. Uh, as we begin a search of the vehicle, we noticed suspicions about the spare tire. It looked like it had been uh, dropped frequently. We then uh, had a canine to come out. Uh, canine Jerry uh, alerted on the vehicle. After he alerted, we brought the vehicle here to the garage and uh, after inspecting the spare tire, uh, retrieve this tool here, which uh, is, is the tool you have to have to take the spare tire down. When we took this, the tool out of the uh, pack, noticed that there was a lot of scratches here as if the spare tire was dropped on this vehicle a lot, which for a 95 vehicle, which this is, a 95, there shouldn't be quite this many scratches on a, a tool that takes the spare tire down. We then dropped the spare tire and noticed that it was extremely heavy. Uh, we let the uh, air out of the spare tire rolled the spare tire, the spare tire wouldn't roll right. We started shaking the tire and you could hear packages inside the tire. We then broke the spare tire down and there was a blanket inside of the tire uh, with the packages. At that point, uh, what we'll do is we'll just stack it right here. At that point, uh, we located these packages and this time we're gonna be removing the packages uh, which are suspected marijuana. They are wrapped and uh, plastic and have grease, a lot of grease around the packages.